Hi, my name's Simon Hater, and today we're going to be exploring how to install uh, the Steam CMD dedicated server, which will allow you to run uh, your own dedicated server in Linux, uh, in this case, Ubuntu, uh, which you'll be able to run games such as Counter Strike 1.6, Counter Strike Source, Day of Defeat, and all the other vast amount of games they run on the Steam CMD network. So, uh, let's not waste any time. As you can see, I'm using Ubuntu 14.04 LTS codename Trusty. Um, it, this guide will work on 12.04, 11.04, uh, 10.04 I think and so on. So it's it, I'm going to label the video 14.04 but if you haven't got that version then this should work uh, as well. If it doesn't let us know in the comment and I can adjust uh, what I say and uh, what not. So let's not waste any time, let's jump straight in. So as you can see I've logged into Ubuntu. Uh, the first thing we want to do is run sudo apt-get update type in my password and let that do it. It's not actually updating. All that's doing is making sure it's got the latest re repository update so uh, when you do run an update it's getting the latest version so as so to speak it's not downloading any updates it's just updating the library off the updates. But uh, anyway that's now done so the next command we want to do is uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to make sure that you've got uh, everything I'm doing. So I've done an upgrade previously but by all means do this. Uh, sudo apt-get upgrade. So you might have a vast amount of upgrades to do. Uh, just let it go. It normally takes about five minutes. Now the next thing we need to install is a thing called lib32gcc1 and another um, application called libc6 i386 now a lot of guides on the internet um, say to install ia32 lib um, do not install that there's absolutely no need it will just uh, bloat your um, Ubuntu up so don't install that all you need to do is sudo apt get uh, install lib32 gccc1 and then space lib c6 oh lib c6 underscore oh hyphen even i386 and what this does is allows us to run because the dedicated server um supplied by steam is actually 32 bit so it's with ubuntu server it's 64 bit so uh when you run the sh file later on you'll get an uh it'll say uh, do, does not recognize or something like that so if we install this we'll get rid of that error so let's install those okay fantastic that's done I'm going to clear the screen keep it nice and tidy now the next thing we want to do is uh, sudo add user steam the reason we add a user is we don't really want to run um, Steam on a user within the sudo group which allows administration rights and we also don't want to do it on root. So we're going to add a user and add a password. You can even go one step further, I won't cover it in my guide but you can also make sure that a Steam user can't log in via SSH and uh, FTP if need be. But anyway, so that's done. When it asks for the full name, you don't need to enter all that. Is this correct? Perfect. So that's added. Let's clear that screen. Now what we want to do is log in via that user. So SU Steam type in our password now as you can see, uh, see I'm still in the home directory of test which is another user account so I need to come out of that just do cd space uh, space dot dot so we go up a level do ls we can see steam so cd steam now what we want to do is make a folder um, so mkdir steam cmd now what we want to do is download the 
platform uh, Steam uh, CMD. So first of all, we need to go into our folder we just created. So Steam CMD. We want to type wget http dot dot forward straight forward straight media dot steam powered dot com forward stroke installer forward stroke steam cmd underscore linux dot tar dot gz hopefully i remembered that fantastic that's downloaded so if i do an ls yep we now see that folder uh file even so let's clear that now what we want to do is extract that uh zip file which is tar space hyphen xv zf space steam cmd underscore no what have i done there we go steam cmd underscore linux dot tar dot gz thought it looked weird so let's run that as you can see that extracted nice for nice and fine so let's do ls yep you can see so let's remove uh steam cmd now the the f just to keep it nice and tidy dot tar dot gz so rm will remove now what we want to do ls make sure that's removed let's clear it let's uh run the steam cmd so um dot forward stroke steam cmd dot sh that will download any updates it needs to do okay fantastic now you'll notice at the bottom here it hasn't actually um, it's now saying steam this is because we're now in the steam cmd console so we can do uh, some commands so the first thing we want to do is log in uh, type login space anonymous I believe some games do uh, require you to log in via uh, a proper authentication but the games will be adding do not so let's do that login anonymous and there we go connecting anonymously to the steam public successful so fantastic so what we need to do now is download a uh, day of defeat a uh, dedicated server um, so the way we do this is we need to specify a directory for day of defeat source a uh, dedicated server and we also need to download the app so the way we do this is we need to type in force underscore install underscore dir space dot forward stroke uh, you can name it anything but I'm going to put de day of defeat um, source so dots forward stroke now we've formed it this is the directory we're going to install it to now what we need to do is download the app so the way to do this is we do app underscore update space the id uh, for day of defeat source uh, dedicate service 232290 space and we want to validate it to ensure that it's downloaded correctly takes a few moments to start kicking in there we go so it's quite big it'll take quite a while oh it's come up with an error uh, app 23229 is state 402 update after jar uh, so let's try it again maybe that was a one-off And there we go it's now continuing if you do get that problem then just start it again I'm going to stop the video temporarily until we've got that I won't make you wait alright so that's done um, now what we need to do is we need to run the server so let's quit out of the console the steam cmd console simply type quit let's clear that let's do ls and as you can see there's all the new directories so let's go into the directories uh, the directory we specified which is dots ls it uh, the file we uh, we're interested in is that one there but first of all come out of there I'll show you how to set up your um, server config which is cod uh, 
CD. CD dot LS set CD CFG. That's LS set again. Um, basically, to write your message of the day, we would just copy that file and remove default. Um, I'm not going to go into it too much, but the way you would do that is CP MOTD underscore default dot txt and we're going to make it motd underscore no no underscore dot text dot txt we then edit that file dot txt and as you can see it's html and basically you can edit uh, anything within the body so after the body um, you can edit um, I am actually a web designer so it is actually easier for me for example you can do um, delete these I'll actually show you a little bit I didn't plan to but I will do now that I've bragged about me being a web designer so let's delete that you could go h1 welcome to the best server would just say that's our header we can then do a um, little intro oh, my. Uh, you have reached the very best server in the world sponsored by Duracell lol and then we can end that paragraph and then if we want to do a picture we can do IMG and then you would specify whereabouts it is uh, within the folder so we could do image source equals um, our logo dot png and then you could have your server address uh, if you wanted to link to your website address you could do our website address dot com and you could have something like that end that paragraph really straightforward control X yes um, another thing you could do is uh, make a server configuration file which you could just do pico server dot cfg that will start a new file and basically you can go up uh, go on Google look for server configuration files um, there's plenty available on Google and other sites um, but anyway let's come out of that let's come out of that again so we're in the dots file to run uh, the server we want to do dot forward stroke cr cds underscore run console we do want the console enabled uh, game dod and uh, the port which is 27015 it's a very common port we could specify a map if we want plus map uh, DOD and ANZIO and then we can specify the uh, the players we want allow on our server by typing plus max players and we can do 24 so let's see if that runs you can even do plus IP address so plus IP and then specify the IP most often it will find um, the IP address um, uh, without specifying it uh, as you can see it didn't find the server config so it, it just went ahead and it didn't find one for the map either so there's a lot of tweaking you can do but that server is running um, we we'll now move over to uh, a little conversation about um, about ports now the steam dedicated server does use uh, some ports uh, Ubuntu uh, comes with the ports open so we don't need to worry about that if you're running it in the data center uh, you're pretty much good to go and have fun if you are running a home server um, and you do have a router such as a Netgear, D-Link, Buffalo, uh, BT Infinity, Home Hub, etc. We need to open those ports. So the first thing we need to do is type in ifconfig. We can see that that is my internal IP address. So I then want to head over to my um, 
browser and log, uh, log into the router which I have done so um, now you're looking for something like NAT or it might be in security depending on what uh, brand of router you got in this case I'm using WDWRT and what we want to find is port range forwarding now I've already entered this in which is Steam CMD you can name it anything you want uh, not all routers allow you to name it um, some of them even have the profile uh, half-life which uh, most of the times opens the necessary ports so if you don't have that option we want to open 27, uh, 27,000 to 27, uh, 27,040 protocol both and type in the IP address off the internal local machine if you've got a checkbox make sure you click it click save and click apply settings after that, you should be ready to go and have fun. I hope you found this helpful. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.